Christmas guys. Malapit na yung Pasko. So, few year, a uh, few, few years, few months, or few, I mean, few few days from now, it's gonna be Christmas. So, let's, I'm go, uh, there's a lot um, uh, happening right now. Not really good happening right now. There's the virus, the coronavirus, there's the um, uh, um, uh, typhoons. Na dumating sa atin, but hindi natin kayang pigilan ang pagdating ng Pasko, you know. So, always pray and uh, put a smile on your face and um, just believe, you know. Parang kagaya ng sister ko sa inyo, it's not yet recorded on my, on my, uh, in my record book, but I was able to um, uh, watch a video from one of my favorite pastors last night, Stephen um, Fertig from Elevation Church. And so, parang nagandahan lang ako sa topic niya kagabi. And um, I'll be sharing it with you right now, guys. From the, of course, holy book natin, ang holy Bible, of course. So, we'll be using um, uh, Mark chapter 5. So, if you're familiar with um, uh, Jairus, Jairus is one of the leaders, Lord, na uh, um, leader ng uh, mga synagogue and one of the rulers of the synagogue. And um, uh, may problema si Nada Ananon. Her do his daughter is dying. So when when he saw um, uh, Jesus Christ, sabi niya, and besought him greatly, saying, "My little daughter lies at the point of death." I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her that she may be healed and she shall live. Kasi alam ni Jairus na sa pamagita lang ng isang touch ni Lord Jesus, gagaling yung anak niya. So, when Jesus went with him and much people followed him and, and, and uh, thronged him, sobrang daming taong pumunta doon, sumama, parang dito sa atin, di ba, pagka may, naka, may nakita issue, daming mga just mockers din, di ba? So, nung mga panahon ni Jesus Christ, may mga ganong scenario din na talagang all the people na nasa kalsada nung makita nalang pupunta kasama ni Jairo si Lord Jesus, oh, si, ano yun nga, si Lord Jesus yun, punta natin, baka may gabi miracle. So, punta sila, push nila si Papa Jesus. Siyempre, some of them believing also na somehow gagaling sila when pag mapapalapit man lang sila kay Lord Jesus. But, eto, Jairo is known, but a certain woman, no name at all. Hindi mo lang nilagyan ng name dito. Hindi kilala. So, a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing bettered but rather grew worse. All of us, nagkakaroon tayo mga ganong senaryo sa buhay natin na 12 years, ang tagal na Pero hindi tayo gumagaling. We have asked a lot of people from the opinions. Health issue man to or uh, life or personal or pro anong problema man to or kinakaharap nyo. We've asked our friends. Some some of you maybe ask uh, from the um, uh, uh, from a professional counselor or coaches. You know. Pero 12 years hindi nagiging maayos yung lagay natin. Instead, mas lalo pa tayong Mas lalo pa tayong lumalala, hindi ba? Hindi, nag, hindi kumbaga, kumbaga, kumbaga sa tulo ng, ng gripo o sa butas ng gripo, hindi, na, hindi nakikita yung lick. Bakit tumatagas pa rin yung, 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 tu, yung tubo o yung tubig dun sa tubo ng gripo? Bakit hindi nawawala yung tagas na yun? Hindi kasi nakikita yung lick. Hindi napapasa ka ng mabuti. So, here... Um, when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. Of course, kung ikaw ba naman yung 12 years na dinudugo, of course, lahat ng pwede mong gawin, gagawin mo gumaling ka lang. Diba? So, 
For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. That's how powerful God is. That's how powerful Lord Jesus is. Dulo lang nung cloak yung hinawakan nung babae. Nung that woman was bleeding for 12 years. And she was healed in that very moment. Diba? So, and Jesus felt knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Ito yung nakakagulat eh, no? Ang daming tumutulak sa kanya. Of course, siyempre, kung baga parang, imagine yung mga sikat ngayon, di ba? Yung mga sikat na uh, mga artista ngayon, or let's say na ang pagdumaan dyan sa harapan nyo, yung sino man yung, hindi ako masyadong, uh, sino ba ang sikat ngayon na, ano, uh, basta kung sino man yung sikat na artista na kalala ninyo, uh, sabihin natin, si si Ryan Gosling o o kaya sabihin natin si Alden Richards pumunta diyan 'di ba naglalakad siya diyan sa gitna ng kalsada 'di ba lahat ng tao pwedeng pumunta doon at itulak 'di ba Mag magtulakan na sila magpush na sila sa isa't isang ganyan hanggang matulak na rin yung si Lord Jesus na tutulok tulak na rin siyang ganyan tulak tulak na rin siyang ganyan pero ito na hagulat no sa dami ng mga tao na yon naramdaman niya yung kapangyarihan na mabasa sa kanya nagtanong siya ang tanong niya who touched my clothes so nagulat yung mga disciples niya sabi ng disciples niya thou seest the multitude thronging thee kita niyo ba kung gano'ng kadami yung mga tao na tumutulak sa inyo and sayest thou who touched me tapos tatanungin niyo kami kung sino yung tumulak sa inyo kung baga parang di ba in term, sa term natin ngayon parang gusto mo sabihin duh di ba parang gano'n yung gusto sabihin ng mga disciples niya Dami-dami tumutulak sa'yo. Tatanong mo kung sino yung mawawak sa'yo. Malamang maraming hawak sa'yo, diba? But Jesus, he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith had made the, thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague lupit na in our life minsan sa do, sobrang daming distractions busy yung life natin and may mga problema dito may kailangan hanapin dito problema ng anak problema ng jowa problema ng asawa ng, ng family ang daming distractions nalilimutan na natin kung ano ba yung destiny mo o ano ba yung distraction di ba pero dito sa scripture na to, tinuro sa atin ni Lord Jesus na kailangan nating maramdaman na may mag-pull. Diba? Kasi siya sa dami nang tumutulak sa kanya. Kung totoo sin, urgent yung pupuntahin niya. Napaka-importante, no? Napaka- So, and it's a matter of life and death. A girl is dying, pero he stopped and looked around and asked, who pulled him. And yun yung kailangan natin eh. Yun yung kailangan natin sometimes. Na sobrang busy ng buhay natin. Kailangan, kung maramdaman mo yung pull na yun, that pull, huwag mong baliwalain. Stop, look around, assess yourself, asan ka na ba? Ano ba ginagawa mo? Kasi baka yung pull na yun, tinagre-remind sa'yo na hey, wait lang. Time out. May mas importante kasi at mas more urgent. Ito kasi yung way papunta sa destiny mo. Baka kasi iba distraction na lang. ba? So, sobrang ituloy mo yun. P pursue. Pursue that pull. Diba? Pursue that pull. Ngayon. Sabi dito. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why trouble thou the master any further? Yun lang yung sad doon. 
dumating dahil nga sa pool na yun Jairus daughter died as, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken he said unto the ruler of the synagogue be not afraid only believe sobrang powerful na sinabi niya yun kasi guys even Lord Jesus kahit nasabihin pa natin na oh yung mga yung, yung most of the girls magaling sila sa multitasking you know but even Lord Jesus kailangan niya ng focus hindi niya kailangan mag multi mag, mag, mag multitask hindi niya rin kaya yan kailangan niya rin sometime na mag focus sa isang bagay at nag focus siya do sa babae na nag pull ng cloak niya and then after niyang after niyang i-focus yung sarili niya doon hinarap niya yung isang problema o hinarap niya yung isa sa mga uh, mga rulers ng uh, mga synagogue at ang sabi niya pakinggan niyo be not afraid only believe be not afraid only believe you know there are uh, dreams in our life na uh, parang akala natin wala na namatay na yung mga pangarap natin hindi na na siya matutupad they already died kasi we're too old may pandemic nakalockdown tayo dito may bagyo daming problema parang hindi natin kaya abutin yung mga, mga, mga bagay na gusto natin mabot sa bahay natin but guys as I've mentioned before 365 times that God said be not afraid that means every day every single day of your life sinasabihan ka ni Lord be not afraid huwag kang matakot just believe just have that faith in your heart just believe na matutupad at mangyayari yun because once that God implanted a dream in your heart no one can steal that away from you you just have to be focused. You just have to know the uh, difference between destruction and your destiny. And how can you differentiate those? Read the Bible. Get the wisdom from Him. And pursue the pull. So, there you go guys. Another wonderful word or uh, another wonderful wisdom from, from our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope everyone is safe thank you so much for listening and watching my video i hope you're enjoying your um, your day and thank you to all who supported my uh, my first video please check out my next video i'll be posting my next video soon thank you so much guys see you soon